Hello, what's going on YouTube? This is tutorial. I just want to show you how you can use the choose calls and choose rows functions in Excel to either select specific columns from your data in the case of the choose calls function or specific rows in the case of the choose rows function. Let's just say we wanted to use the choose call function to select the revenue, profit, and the date from this sample data set. To do that, we can do equals choose calls. So the first argument is the array, so where are you pulling the columns from? That we're pulling them from right here. And then the next arguments just basically correspond to the numbers for each column in our data set. So if we wanted to pull the date first, that would be the ninth column. We want to pull the revenue, which is the sixth column. We want to pull the profit, which is the eighth column. Close parentheses. As you can see, it looks kind of, it's kind of weird. So we're just going to highlight the date range right here, do Alt, H, N, S, Enter, now it's a short date, and then for profit and revenue, we're going to highlight this and do Alt, H, N, C, and then Enter, and then now that's formatted. And as you can see, it's that simple to pull specific columns from our data set. And let's just say we wanted to do the same thing, but do rows. Also my idea to choose rows, and then what, what the first argument is the array. So where you want to pull the data from, we want to pull it from right here. And like the choose columns function, we use, can, you, can you just use specific numbers to select specific rows so you choose rows following columns. So let's just say we want to select the, very specifically the 5th, 10th, and 5th, 15th, 20th row. And for example, we're now only specific, specifically pulling these rows. And we want to have the title as well too, so the first row too. Now, 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 that, now that's pretty cool. But well, these really be, can be powerful is if you want to nest these with other functions. So, for example, let's just say we wanted to select only the all the sales for only the most recent sales date. So, so getting back to what we originally had, choose rows, choose columns, now select this range, select this range, and then I'm going to be typing in a 6, a 9, and an 8 to get back to the range. Now one thing that's pretty cool though is that we can, is that, is that we can nest this inside of, oh, oh sorry my bad, Nine six. I got the nine and six switch rounds. One thing that's that's pretty cool though is that we can is that we can nest this with the other functions in order to get specifically what we're looking for. So, for example, we want to make sure that the date is sorted from newest to oldest in this example. So we can nest this in the side of the sort the sort function. So equals sort tab to finish the function, moving to the end of the range, so the, to get to the sort function, comma, sort index, so which column do you do sorting on? Once you do it on, these, on the first column, the date column, and where do you want to sort it by? We want to sort it by descending order. And as you can see, now we have all the newest, now we have all the newest, um, Sale so at the top, and it's sorted by date. We can, now we can put this inside of a take function. So the take function just allows us to select a certain number of rows I want to get for a data set. So take, and then comma, let's just type in 10 for example, and then the, and then close parentheses to get the top 10 rows. This also is, is a columns argument if you, if you want to use that too, but for this example, I'm going to use the rows piece. Now, well, now we have the top 10 rows with the newest sales date, but we want to grab all of the sales from this state, right? For just the state. So we can use a count if instead, so instead of the number 10. So newest state. So we're going to have the newest state right here, which is going to be the max of this range right here. And then, so for the rows, we will want to, instead of 10, we want to do count if. 
counts if this range. And what criteria do we want? We want it just using a state. And as you can see, now we have all the sales from the new state. And you can even, for example, have this nested inside of have this be a drop set arrow, arrow instead. If you want to have people just select the have a drop set instead, if you just want it to not necessarily even be the new state, but if you, but if you want it to be um, people to select a specific date, you can have this in a drop down list. So that's it for the different dates. But I just thought this was pretty cool because now we have all these, these sales for the new state. I hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. You have a great day.